guys, Matt here with TTPOA, and today I'm going to show you how I paint a rifle. I have a rifle that I need to get painted, so I figured I'd put a training video together to show you how I do it. Um, since we're talking about firearms, these weapons are both on safe, magazines out. Uh, I've removed the bolt from this bolt action rifle, and so there's no ammunition in the area. Uh, you can see I've previously done this one, just to show you an example. It's weathered down, it's been in several years. So I'm gonna end up doing a similar paint job on this rifle. But the first thing you need to do is clean it down, make sure it's dry so that the paint will adhere to it. And then you're gonna to have to tape it up, which you'll find is the most tedious part. And I'll show you once I'm done taping it up. So I've got some painter's tape, some scissors, and a razor. And I'm gonna tape it up, uh, the parts that I wanna cover, and I'll show you how I did that. So we'll come back. Okay guys, so now I've taped up the rifle. It's kind of a tedious part, but one thing I noticed is have a set of tweezers that'll help get these small areas. So basically the scope's gonna take the most time marking up, covering up what you need to, and then the action part, you need to cover that up. You don't want any paint in a working part of the, if it's a bolt rifle or any weapon system. And then the crown, of course, we need to cover that up. Uh, caution on the legs when it comes time. If you want to extend them out, that's fine. Uh, be careful about getting too much paint on there because if you go to close it up, it'll be an issue. So it's been cleaned up, it's dry, it's taped, it's ready to go. So now I'm going to put the base coat on. I use the Rust-Oleum camouflage. You can find this in like Home Depot, Walmart. Uh, make sure to get the khaki. The sand is super light and uh, play around with it. You'll see what I'm talking about. But the khaki one. So I'm going to lay a base coat on and I'll come back. I'll show you where we're at and then we'll get into the fun stuff. Part one thing I failed to mention is use a set of tweezers. It'll be hard, uh, easier for you to get like these little pieces on, but the scope is gonna be the most tedious part, and then make sure the action part of the rifle gets uh, covered up, um, and the crown as well. You don't wanna get anything in the barrel. And then you see I've covered up my bolt, which parts I don't want um, painted, and I'll touch that up as well. So what you can see, now I'm getting ready to put the base coat on. I've suspended this on some string on a two by four on two sets of ladders. Uh, you can use some 550 cord or if you've got some strong string hanging around. Um, that way it's easier to paint the rifle. And then what I use is the Rust-Oleum camouflage. Um, you can get this at Home Depot, Walmart, any local uh, store that carries paint. Uh, make sure to get the darker version, which is khaki. The sand is super light, but if that works for you, it's up to you which color you want to use. So I'm going to put the base coat on and then I'm going to show you guys where we're at. Okay, so I got the base coat on. Don't worry too much about it being perfect because you're gonna layer on the next coats of paint here in a minute. But once again, I taped it all up. I stuffed some tissue paper, paper towels in where the glass is, and I've got the coat on uh, that's khaki. So now it's time to move on to add the other colors. I've got some greens and browns here, uh, same Rust-Oleum. And so I went around the yard, I found some vegetation. Uh, so basically, keep in mind, vegetation grows up, so we want to keep everything going vertical on the rifles who work our way around. So I'm going to take the different colors and I'm going to alternate between them, and I'm going to press these up against the rifle, and I'm going to put some paint on there. And you're just going to go around with one color and fill in the spots, and then I'm going to keep layering it on. And the, the beauty of it all is you can go back and forth with your khaki and your different colors until it mixes up. So I'm going to do a little bit of that, I'm going to come back, I'm going to show you where I'm at and how to come off of that. So I walked around the rifle. Um, you notice I selected something with smaller leaves. It kind of easier to get that pattern onto the rifle. So it's gotten darker, right? So now I'm gonna use some thinner stuff. I'm gonna go back over it with the lighter khaki again to kind of break it up. And you just keep going back and forth until you get kind of the patterns that you're looking for and that it breaks it up. Essentially, you want the rifle to disappear in theory. So in the end, when I'm completely done, I'm gonna show it to you so you can kind of see how it breaks up the image. So, so here we are. Um, I realized that the lighting in my garage was pretty poor. So once I got outside, you can see it's kind of light. So I'm definitely gonna go back and add some dark to it. But I just wanted to give you a, a gist of how it works out. You can see I found 
one particular piece of vegetation that I like the, uh, the character, the, the shape it left on there. And then don't forget to flip open your cap and add some color on there too because operationally uh, that will be exposed. But uh, just give you a general overview of how to do it. It's not that hard. Some guys will go as far as putting a clear coat on to protect where their cheek weld is going to happen on the rifle. But this is easy. You can go back if you don't like it or starts to wear off. You just go back and touch it up. Um, so I'm going to touch it up before I pull the tape off. But I want to show it to you. Uh, pretty close to the final product. So hopefully I helped you out. If you got any questions, hit me up. Otherwise, uh, stay safe out there and train hard.